Okay, now the final step into just uh, installing Lightbox 2 into our page is to check the Lightbox CSS file and make sure that we place the images that we've downloaded in the right place for that CSS file. So let's go to our, CS, our lightbox.css file and what we're looking for is any let me go view, uh, view font um, I'm just trying to look for a soft wrap over here there we go soft wrap um, now what I'm looking for over here is what the CSS is referencing now the only the only reference to CSS is this previous and next label um, which the code it says previous and next gif but it seems that it's that's not totally correct um, because it's named slightly different but that's okay because because we're looking at it now it's just the author in making the instructions wasn't as um, clear as he could be but that's all right hey he, he made the light box code so that's that's all the heavy lifting over there but let's study what this URL is actually saying now this dot dot means to go up a directory um, we're actually not going to be able to go up a directory because we placed this CSS file in our root directory so I think what we need to do is change this code over here and what we can do is just simply take that dot dot out over there and take the dot dot out over there and just have images forward slash preview label and images forward slash gif because now if we save it and close and close it what we could do is add those the images that we have left just to our main images folder so from so just just to be clear here I edited the lightbox CSS um, the only reference that I had to some images was these two lines over here and before it had a dot dot forward but we couldn't do that because we were at the root directory. We can't go up a directory because that that would actually be my desktop, and that would work for my computer. But um, when we upload it, it mess it up. So you want to make sure that those URLs are exactly like that, and then you can put those images that you've downloaded from Mypox to the main images folder and those are what was it next and previous label and actually if we look at them that's the uh, the buttons that when you click on when you hover over it let's see we're we're moving these things over so let's do just that now I'll pop those guys in oops yeah I do want to make sure that's saved um, so I'm going to pop those guys into my folder over here. And now if we kind of look at what are these other files, well these fo other guys uh, make a donation. These are for, um, if you look at this index, dot, the uh, instructions that we downloaded with the file. I think those are, see, if this is what it's looking for and telling us how to do it. So, um, okay. Well, that should all be good. Let's actually just verify that that we have it, and I'll show you how. Yeah, we could reload it. I'm gonna s preview my my uh, pictures uh, uh, in my browser. I like using Firefox because if I look at the code, um, they actually link in the code. So. I could see that light box over here. I have a light box link, and I click it. And actually, I can't move over here, but um, but here it is. So I know I have things linked. Um, now, oh, here's a way I could actually see if it's going to work. Um, if this 
image is here, then that means I theoretically could add that to my URL over here. And aha, and it works. Okay. Well, that's it. My page is ready to hook into Lightbox. It's fully installed, and now the only thing I need to do is actually get it going on these images.